Hello and welcome back. We're starting a new unit today on quadrilaterals. But before we go into those four-sided shapes, we need to take a look at polygons in general because this will help us set the stage for what we're going to learn in quadrilaterals. So today we're looking at the angles of polygons. We're going to check out the interior angles and the exterior angles. And as we often do, we're going to start with a bit of review. Here we go. So to review, when we were studying triangles, we learned that the sum of the measures of the interior of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now we can use this information to find the sum of the interior angles of any polygon. If we draw the diagonals of each polygon, we can split the polygon, well, into triangles. So let me show you how this works. We'll start with a triangle. And a triangle has three sides. And it's, well, it's just a triangle, right? So we already know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Well, let's check out a quadrilateral. That has four sides, right? But if we draw a diagonal of a quadrilateral, we can split that into two triangles. So we know that there's 180 degrees in one triangle and 180 degrees in the other triangle. So there's two 180 degrees, which equals 360 degrees total in that quadrilateral. Let's try a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides. And if we draw some diagonals, we can split that pentagon into three triangles. So just like the quadrilateral, we have 180 degrees in each of those triangles. Well, if there's three of them, that's three times 180 degrees. So there's 540 degrees total in the pentagon. Let's try a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides, and if we draw some diagonals, we'll find that we can split the hexagon into four triangles. Four times 180 gives us 720 degrees inside the hexagon. One more, let's try an octagon. An octagon has eight sides. If we draw some diagonals in the octagon, we can split that into six triangles. So six times 180 gives us 1,080 degrees inside the octagon. So do we have any patterns here that we can find from the number of sides of each of the polygons to the number of triangles in each of the triangles? We've just subtracted two. So if we take the number of triangles in each polygon, multiply that times 180, we'll get the sum of the interior angles of the polygons. So we can generalize that. Let's say the number of sides in any polygon is n. If I subtract 2, I get n minus 2. I multiply that times 180 to get the sum of the interior angles of any polygon. Let's try this a couple times. What's the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with 14 sides? Well, we just take 14, subtract 2, and multiply that times 180. So a polygon with 14 sides, all the angles on the inside add up to 2,160 degrees. What's the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with 20 sides? Same process, 20 minus 2 times 180 equals 3,240 degrees inside a polygon with 20 sides. But we're going to transition now to exterior angles. First, let's define an exterior angle. An exterior angle is the angle between any side of a shape and a line extended from the next side. I'll show you what that means. Here we have a pentagon, and inside the pentagon we have the interior angles. If we extend one of the sides, we create an exterior angle. And each of the interior angles has a partner exterior angle. Let's add some degree measurements to our interior angles. Now, theoretically, if we add these up, because this is a pentagon, these numbers should add up to 3 times 180, or 540 degrees. So let's check that out. 112, 102, 112, 112, 102. We're going to add all those together, and we get 540. Let's look at the exterior angles. 
Look at the top exterior angle that we created at the beginning. That's a linear pair with 112, which means that we know that that exterior angle is 180 minus 112, which is 68 degrees. The one that partners with 102 is 78 degrees. Those are supplementary angles. 112 goes to 68, another 68, and a 78. Now let's add all of those together and see what we get. 68 plus 78 plus 68 plus 68 plus 78 is 360 degrees. Cool. Let's try another one. Let's try this hexagon. And inside this hexagon, we've got angles of 110, 110, 140, 110, 110, 140. So theoretically, if we add all those together, they should equal n minus 2. Okay, so 6 minus 4 times 180 is 720. So let's add them all up, and good, we get 720. Let's look at the exterior angles. So we'll draw each of the exterior angles, and for each interior angle, we'll find its supplement. So 110 partners with 70. 140 partners with 40. So we can add all of those exterior angles together, and what do we get? We get, hmm, 360. But isn't that what we got last time? Well, let's do one more and see what happens. We'll just try a triangle with three sides. Inside the triangle, we, well, it's equilateral. So we've got 60 degrees on each angle. So the sum of the interior angles, well, we already know that should add up to 180, right? Let's try the sum of the exterior angles. So we'll extend to create the exterior angles, find the supplements, which is 120 degrees for each of them. And if we add up 120 degrees, those three angles, we get, huh, 360 degrees again. So we can generalize this as well. The sum of the exterior angles for any polygon is 360 degrees. So the cool thing about math is that we can find these patterns like we did today. Like for the interior angles of a polygon, we can just separate it into triangles. For the exterior angles of a polygon, they always add up to 360. And we're gonna use this information to build upon to learn some more about quadrilaterals in the upcoming lessons. Thanks for being here.